Have you ever looked at a massive bridge spanning over a river, a bay, or even the ocean and thought, how on earth did they build this? From ancient rope bridges to modern engineering marvels, bridges are some of humanity's greatest triumphs over nature. But building them over water, where the foundations are hidden, currents are relentless, and weather can be unforgiving, is a different level of genius. In this video, we're diving deep into the fascinating process of how engineers turn impossible visions into iconic structures. Spoiler alert, it involves massive cranes, underwater explosions, and even building islands. Let's get started. To build a bridge over water, the first step is laying a solid foundation. But how do you do that when your worksite is underwater? Enter caissons and cofferdams, two of the coolest tools in bridge building history. A caisson is like a giant upside-down cup that's lowered into the water. Workers remove the water inside, creating a dry space to dig and pour concrete. It's sort of like building a sandcastle underwater, except this one can support the weight of millions of tons of steel and concrete. On the other hand, a coffer dam is a temporary enclosure made of steel sheets driven into the riverbed. Once the dam is sealed, water is pumped out, creating a dry area to build the bridge's piers. Coffer dams are perfect for shallow waters, but for deeper areas, engineers often turn to piles, enormous steel or concrete cylinders driven into the seabed. These piles act like super strong legs to hold up the entire bridge structure. Now, not all bridges stand tall with solid foundations underwater. Have you ever heard of floating bridges? Yes, bridges that actually float on water. One of the most famous examples is the Evergreen Point Floating Bridge in Seattle. Floating bridges use massive hollow pontoons, think of them as giant rafts made of concrete. These pontoons are anchored to the seabed with heavy cables to prevent them from drifting. Engineers love this technique in areas where the water is too deep for traditional piers. Fun fact floating bridges are so sturdy, they can handle cars, trucks, and even earthquakes. Once the foundations are set, the next challenge is constructing the superstructure, the part of the bridge you actually drive, walk, or ride across. Depending on the bridge type, this can be a monumental task. Let's talk about three iconic types of bridges built over water. First, we have the beam bridge, the simplest design. It's like placing a plank of wood between two supports. These are great for short spans, but aren't ideal for large rivers or bays. Next up, the arch bridge. This ancient design dating back to Roman times uses curved structures to distribute weight evenly. The New River Gorge Bridge in West Virginia is a breathtaking example of a modern arch bridge. And finally, the king of long spans, the suspension bridge. Think of the Golden Gate Bridge. Suspension bridges use cables anchored to massive towers and strong foundations. These cables hold the deck in place, creating that iconic sweeping design. Building a bridge isn't just about design, it's about execution. Modern engineers rely on incredible tools and techniques to make their visions a reality. Ever heard of cantilever construction? This technique involves building outwards from each pier in sections like two arms reaching across a gap until they meet in the middle. It's perfect for deep water bridges like the fourth bridge in Scotland. And then there's incremental launching. This method involves building the bridge deck in sections on land and pushing it out over the supports like a massive Lego set. It's efficient, precise, and ensures safety for workers. These projects also require cranes that can lift hundreds of tons, barges to transport materials, and underwater divers who brave the depths to ensure everything is perfectly aligned. It's a symphony of human ingenuity and machine power. Building over water means engineers must deal with the unpredictable forces of nature, strong currents, high tides and storms, and that's just above the water. Beneath the surface, they have to navigate soft soil, shifting sands, and even earthquakes. To tackle these challenges, engineers use advanced simulations to predict how the bridge will respond to extreme conditions. They also use materials like weather-resistant steel and reinforced concrete to ensure durability. Did you know the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge in Japan was designed to withstand typhoons and 8.5 magnitude earthquakes? So, what's next in bridge construction? With advancements in technology, we're looking at smart bridges that can monitor their own health using sensors and drones. Imagine a bridge that sends alerts if it needs repairs before a crack becomes a problem. Three-dimensional printing is also making waves in construction. Instead of months of labor, entire bridge components can be printed and assembled in record time. The future of bridge building is sustainable, efficient, and mind-blowing. 
So the next time you cross a bridge, take a moment to appreciate the marvel of engineering beneath your feet. These structures aren't just shortcuts, they're stories of determination, creativity, and teamwork that connect us in more ways than one. If you found this journey into the world of bridge construction as fascinating as we did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on more engineering wonders. Drop a comment below, what's your favorite bridge and why? Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.